The last time I made a collage was when I was about probably seven, and I think it included pasta and spray paint. No pasta this time. It's a carb-free collage, is what this is. <laughs> Ferns appearing on the front cover of Cosmopolitan. So far today, she's had nothing to eat. I'm gonna be a this will be propped up if anyone wants to try out the theory. You think, I've just ordered fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> I've been awful. Can I change my ways <laughs> to lettuce? Posh says, don't eat fish and chips. Oh, Have a salad and a grape instead. Fern is having her makeup done. Instead of breakfast, she's trialling the dictionary distraction technique. Look what I've just turned to. Hungry. Oh, my God. That's a sign that I should eat food, surely. This, this is reverse. This is backfired big time in my face. Next up, Radio 1, where Fern is presenting the chart show with co-host Reggie. The lack of food has started to make her feel tired and distracted. Listen Sundays from 4 to Radio 1's chart show with Fern and Reggie. How are you doing? We'll take that to make it another week at number one. Here we go. <sighs> right, 90 calories per one of them. To stick to the rules of the diet, Fern can only eat 200 calories all day. That's the equivalent of a bag of crisps and an apple. <laughs> that is so miserable. Then you get three of them all day. And a, and a cup of soup, and then a few blueberries, that's it for the day. <laughs> Damn. Obviously, there's a lot of pressure on women in this day and age yeah. to be a certain way. What do you think about really skinny women? Is that something you find attractive? I like a bit of meat on the bone. Yeah. I, 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 I just like a woman with curves. I like a woman with shape. I like a woman to look womanly. I don't understand why you'd want to look anything else than what is traditionally womanly. Almost all of my friends will say that they like women with curves. Just seven minutes in and Fern has her first hot food of the day. A 90 calorie soup. Oh, really hot, but it's really good. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh, babe, I start to feel bad now. Yeah, do feel bad. I've done it. Done my cup of soup. Uh, so here she is. <laughs> Let's crack on with the top 20. Rihanna, Rehab, featuring Justin Timberlake. Baby, baby. Absolutely ravenous. So hungry. With only the top six left to announce, the lack of food is affecting Fern's concentration. Well, you might want the killers to be number one, but I can tell you now, they're not. Uh, okay, they're going to be coming up in just a bit, just after Beyonce, who is this week's number six, and the killers are number five. Here we go. I just revealed the number. What one was it? Five before six. Just terrible. Fern very rarely makes mistakes. Um, so the only thing that I can put it down to is the fact that her mind was on her stomach. It's the sort of thing that never really happens with cotton, you know? And, um, yeah, I think that really wound her up. And without a doubt, her, her head was elsewhere, you know? Quite frankly, today has been hell. Oh, um, I've never not enjoyed work so much because I just felt like I wasn't putting everything that I could into into my job, and I don't like feeling like that. <sighs> just weird. Just end up feeling quite emotional and all over the place. I don't know how people go through. You know, I don't know how people go through this every day, living like this. It's um, just too intense. Fern's first experience of crash dieting has proved more difficult than she could ever have imagined. You know, I'll have times when I think, oh, I'll just eat a bit healthier for, for you know, a while, or I'll um, not eat so much chocolate or not drink so much booze or whatever, but if I slip, it's not the end of the world. Whereas I think if you start creating these harsh boundaries, um, it starts to play with your head a bit. And that's where I think it gets very dangerous. I think the more time you give it, then the worse and worse it becomes and you can spiral into something quite different. For lots of girls, there is no way back. Anorexia is the biggest killer of any mental illness in the UK. One in five girls who are diagnosed with the condition die. 
Fern has been put in touch with a mum and best friend of a girl for whom dieting had the most tragic consequences. You know, see how anorexia has affected her family and what it was like just, you know, being so close to somebody who you know, has had it and uh, quite nervous, really, sort of quite anxious about it all. Sophie was studying animal care at college when she was diagnosed with anorexia at the age of 17. It only took two years for Sophie to deteriorate. She died at 19, weighing just four and a half stone. Hi, Ross. Also here is Cassia, Sophie's best friend. She also had anorexia and only sought recovery after Sophie's death. So you, you lost Sophie to anorexia. How long ago was it now? Um, just over two years ago. It was 21st of December, 2006. And how old was she at the time? She was 19. 19. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, is there any way of knowing, like, what do you think? Is there a trigger or something that happened in her life to make her go down this route, or...? This is what she told me, anyway, that she'd started to lose the weight to get a flat stomach. I think it was the Britney Spears and the, the low jeans, because she had a, her belly out, and at that time, that was really, really fashionable. And then she found other people were complimenting her on how she looked good, because she was slim. And... She just felt that she f had found something that she could do really well. Do you think that Sophie ever sort of went on the websites, like the pro-anorexic websites and stuff, for information? Or I think she probably did, although yeah. obviously she wouldn't have told me about it. And I think once you've got anorexia and you're with other girls, I think they all yeah. share mm. information on these websites and tips and things, maybe. Yeah. Did you sort of talk a lot about... Um, I mean, did you go on the websites? Did you chat to Sophie about it at all? I went on the websites before I went into hospital, before I met Sophie, and I was addicted to the websites. Really? You could post up about what your intake was for the day. And did they, you do that? Yeah, and you can post pictures up of yourself, like ribs and shoulders and things like that. I mean, it was awful, but at the time, it was what I wanted to be like. And these girls would say, I'd say how much I weigh, and they'd say, no, you've got to lose more than that. You can oh, do it, it's kind awful, of thing. Isn't it? it was something that I thought would help me lose weight, and it did. <laughs> and yeah. it nearly, it nearly killed me. Do you miss her a lot? Yeah, because she, she's really helped me, like, get to where I am now. Because I think that without her help, and even though it's such a dreadful thing that's happened. I think that has been my turning point and I really and I just want to live my life for me as well as for Sophie so yeah definitely good for you darling mm, yeah so how I mean I'm just so astonished by the speed of how she got ill so how long was she just sort of dieting for before it started to get dangerous do you think probably only about two or three months really yeah it couldn't have been more than that because you know, I have photographs of her in the August when we went on holiday and she was perfectly normal. And between the September and November, she'd lost one and a half, two stones. Oh, my goodness. And she said, well, I do want to get better. So I'd say, well, just eat a bit more food. But then she mm. said, no, I can't. I think she did want... I mean, even on the day she died, she was talking about what she was going to do. Really? Sorry. 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 I'm sorry. Oh, don't be silly. Don't be silly. She was so bloody thin. She couldn't even lift her head up when she was talking to me, and it's just awful. <sighs> Can we stop for a minute? Just the saddest thing ever. It's just incredibly sad meeting her, and and scary to know that 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 can happen so quickly that someone can go from being